his coast, the West Coast. I was, I just start thinking like, man, I wonder what church is gonna be at. It's gonna have to be a big church to just to hold the amount of people that's gonna come. So when I heard the Staples Center, first of all, that's very major. Um, it's honorable still on the city of Los Angeles's part, and then it's realistically just in the best interest that they did it like that because man it's gonna be so many people so i'm glad that it was a venue that can hold uh, all of the people and man the staples center probably gonna look like game seven of the What's up everybody, Glass, Bitty Daddy Vlog Life. Coming to y'all again. This is a travel to work vlog one time. Definitely gonna uh, get in these topics when I can, how I can, as frequent as I can. Um, more to it. Uh, by the time y'all see this vlog, it'll be Wednesday. So um, tomorrow is the memorial service for uh, the late great uh, Nipsey Hussle for those of you that's been keeping up with uh, the story the updates and everything that's going on um, as you can see Slauson has uh, it looks as though Slauson really has been shut down right at Crenshaw and Slauson uh, a block away from where his store is located because from all the video footage that I'm seeing I just with just all the different things that have happened, whether it's with um, Nation of Islam, uh, community gatherings, uh, many marches, just everything that's been going on. Um, it really looked like they shut down Slauson at that area. Maybe they've just shut that whole particular block down and they've detoured and done different things or something like that. Maybe they're just doing time slots. I'm not. I'm not sure um, any anybody that's watching this that has been out there, if they can comment below and help provide me with more information and help provide uh, everyone else with more information, then that'll be good to know. Um, Nipsey's memorial will be at the Staples Center when after you know a couple of days after I came to the realization that Nipsey was no longer with us. Uh, you know, started started to tell myself like, man, Doc, I wish I could be down there for it to be in support. You know, go um, show my support the whole deal. And, but then I also started thinking like, man, with all the people that loved him and just all the different travelers and things like that. You know, people coming from out of town that's going that he had all these special relationships with. You know, from just all coasts, you know, Midwest, East Coast, down South. I start thinking about that and, and you know, let's not even include his coast, the West Coast. I was, I just start thinking like, man, I wonder what church is going to be at. It's going to have to be a big church to just to hold the amount of people that's going to come. So when I heard the Staples Center, first of all, that's very major. Um, it's honorable still on the city of Los Angeles' part. And then it's realistically just in the best interest that they did it like that because, man, it's going to be so many people. So I'm glad that it was a venue that can hold uh, all of the people. And, man, the Staples Center probably going to look like game seven of the finals. Like, it's probably going to look something like that. But I'm glad they chose a, a, a venue that's just huge enough to house all of the people because, you know, what you don't want is... Um, everybody that he wants to be there that are unable to get in just based upon just the enormous amount of people coming so uh, that's definitely a great look to have to have it at the Staples Center so yeah man I really wish I was there but hey uh, everybody keep keep pushing keep doing as you're doing um, keep using different things to motivate yourself and keep pushing to succeed at what it is that you're looking at succeeding if you have if you haven't formalized your game plan to get it done 
go ahead and formalize that game plan today. Go ahead and begin that process of getting all that done uh, today so you can start implementing everything else the rest of this week. Like, man, just don't go ahead. Don't wait on it. Keep moving. Keep making it happen. Hey, back again. Better daddy vlog. Hey, quick side note. Um, Let me not even say side note because uh, this is important. Adults, if you with or without a family, if you don't have life insurance, it's time for you to get some. You do not want to put your family in a bind or in a situation or a financial burden in which uh, they have to um, not only deal with the loss of you, but they're dealing with now figuring out how to um, pay for services and everything in relation to you. And if you have children, you definitely don't want to leave your children um, in a worse state. I mean, not a, it's already bad enough that they're losing the parent, the parent that they love, the parent that they were, uh, you know, used to seeing with, and just everything that encompasses that. But now, uh, your partner or ex-partner, whatever, they now have to deal with the situation of trying to uh, figure out how to. Bury, bury you as well so you just don't want you just don't want your your children or your family to kind of take two L's so yeah man just do do what's necessary with that I mean I, I, I knew Nip was I knew Nip already had that in order just in general but for those of you that do not have that in order go ahead and get that in order again prayers to Nip his family memorial service um Hopefully, hopefully it'll be televised. That's what I'm really hoping if, if it's gonna be televised. If it, if it is gonna be televised, that'll be great. That'll be phenomenal. I'll be able to watch and be there in spirit since I can't be there physically. Yeah, yeah, man, so. That's all I gotta say about that, man. Um, Yeah. I get it, y'all, man. Better day to vlog, like, hey.